there he is on the big screen. Hey, Peter. Hi. Hey, it's Peter Frampton. And um, <laughs> lean your head down, Peter. Is that a uh, is that an official Peter Frampton cap? What does that say? Uh, no, it's it's actually Blackberry Farm. Oh, oh, wow. Tom's been there. I've been there a couple times. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. It's killer, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Mr. Yeah. Frampton, are you are you calling us from Tennessee? Yes, I am calling you from Nashville. All right. And and you're going back on the road. Tell us the uh tell us the story. Well, <clears throat> um as you know, um we all got shut down in, uh, with uh, COVID. And we were supposed to go in 2020 after the finale tour here in the U.S. and Canada. We were supposed to go to Europe in, in May of 2020. And um didn't happen, obviously, because we were all shut down. But um, we did manage to go there last November. They dangled the tour in front of me. And I said, well, let me let me check the old fingers. And uh, so, <laughs> so far, there they go again. Um, uh, so, so far, so good. So um, and then we came back and within a month, we did another a TV show with an invited audience here in, in Nashville for Sky Arts over in England, UK. And uh, I'm still, you know, there they come, you know. <laughs> so um, anyway, I decided that, look, I'm not going to sit home this summer. If I'm still playing guitar, you know, and enjoying it, that's the main thing. So I just decided to, uh, if we can make it a little easier the way we tour, so it's not... It's not like three months straight. It's two months. It's two weeks every month, basically, uh, for three months. So uh, I think I'm going to be able to manage it. And you're referencing your fingers. You have a medical issue that has been uh, sort of uh, creeping and crawling. And what's, yes. How's that going? If you're feeling great? Um, it's going fine, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> has it affected your playing at all? <laughs> um. <clears throat> It it uh, if I said no, um, that's a lie. Um, but um, supposedly my band can't tell the difference, which worries me. But um, <laughs> about, you know, I know they're just lying to the boss. You know, so um, no, um, I'm still able to play pretty pretty damn well. I'm I'm very pleased. So I'm looking forward to. Um, Getting, there's nothing like it for me to get out there and even though I will be seated um, this time we started that in in the on the European tour because uh, you know doing a solo I get so excited I just like wobble off you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh he's down he's down <laughs> he's wobbled <laughs> so anyway um, I just decided that. Let's get the old crew back. Well, I see, I told everybody I quit, you know, so the band and everybody. So luckily, um, we've got the band back um, and um, <clears throat> uh, some of the crew members couldn't come back even though they wanted to because you said you quit. <laughs> and so, <clears throat> so they've gone off to do other things. But uh, we've got a great new crew and I just think of this tour as... The bonus tour, I never thought this would ever happen. So um I'm so thrilled and and pleased that I'm going out there and we're gonna we're gonna dig up some deep cuts that we haven't played maybe for a long time or even ever. Um so we're rehearsing for quite a bit to kind of uh, do stuff, just try stuff that I've I've never done before. We're speaking with a great uh, Peter Frampton. Peter, are you gonna do any humble pie stuff? Oh, I'm sure we will. Yes, definitely. Okay, great. Right. When when it comes to songwriting, with the 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 different situation with your hands, has this uh, made you write in a different way? Are you sitting at a piano or with a bass, or do you? Um, <clears throat> no, I write I I write with acoustic, electric, you know, a piano, and uh, I have written with bass as well. Yeah. Um, but no, that that doesn't hasn't really changed. Um, so you know, my writing uh, and and in fact, um, th what I've been working on for the last couple of years is and still working on it is uh, a brand new all my songs. You know, no co writes. Just uh, this is the way I used to write in 1970. You know, so um, and it it we have these three reissued vinyls 
that are coming out, uh, Wind of Change, um, Frampton's Camel, and the Frampton album are the first three. And uh, <clears throat> uh, they are being reissued um, very soon. And boy, do they sound good on vinyl. Oh, my goodness. Just anything sounds good on vinyl. <laughs> yeah. now, do, you have a rec- um, do you have a record player at your house? <laughs> I do. Is that? Yeah, I had to. I had got rid of mine years ago, obviously. And then I've had one for the last, you know, six, seven, eight years now. And uh, I just love it. You know, um, get out these albums that I brought from England. You know, I have not only do I have the um, a week of release of the original mono Sergeant Pepper, but I have... I, I have the stereo one too, which was released uh, not not as uh, popular because the Beatles didn't really know and wanted be hand, uh, dealing with anything stereo, so they let somebody else do it but virtually, and um, <clears throat> but those things like that, you know, early really early records that um, you know I could I could probably sell those for quite a bit actually. I'm, yeah, you probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> Peter, uh, why don't you let me take a look at those? So get, uh, Peter, Chick, Chick, right McGee, you. Chick McGee, and I, we always have to bring this up when we're talking to you. Uh, uh, you've obviously re- released. No, here's the thing I need to tell Peter. Last time I saw him, and it wasn't that long ago, like two years ago, you played, and I was hoping you would. My favorite song, everybody has a favorite song off Comes Alive, but mine is I'll Give You Money. And you've tore into that, and you did not disappoint, sir. And well, I want, thank you. And I want to tell people when he says he has, you know, and he's. He's off. Remember where he's starting from. Yeah. Before he said, well, I'm a little off. That's why your band can't tell. It's, uh, you know, from, uh, from yeah, super duper you. amazing to super amazing. Uh, yeah. I'll take that. One yeah. duper missing. One duper. He's off a duper. Uh, yeah, I'm we, off a duper. We yeah, always okay. ask Peter about the, because we're talking about vinyl records. And then you have released, some of your albums are available. Think about the number of formats. You've got uh, eight track, cassette, CD, had them all. Uh, whatever, quadraphonic. I did not have the quad comes I, alive. I remember I had, <laughs> at one point years ago, we were talking to Mr. Frampton, and he said, I had to release this one because I've got to send another kid to college. That's it, was, right. it, was, it was some enhanced stereo. <clears throat> but you, we all remember when you would listen on an eight track. Oh, yeah. To, to, to clunk, Frampton clunk. comes alive, where yeah. it would clunk in the middle of the song. <laughs> yeah. Do you clunk like I do? Yeah, I that and would then, be the one it would do it in. Too. And it, it, uh, I graduated high school in 76, so this was, oh, right my, we do you feel like we do? I, we lost our minds. And my 8-track had uh, broken right at the end of when they come back and do you feel like we do, and you're... <laughs> so I had to edit that back together, and it was not very good. But then, of course, I I, I made a little money, and I got a couple other different formats. So yeah. we're okay now. Do yeah. you think, do you think you'll do um, uh, the Ray Charles classic, I Don't Need No Doctor? I think that's very high. That's high on the list, yes. And that's one of my favorite stories in your book. I should point out that Peter Frampton has a wonderful, wonderful yes. autobiography. And the story of, of that particular song is just terrific at how you guys were on stage and Steve Marriott walked in the back of the hall and the whole thing happened. Just a terrific, yeah. terrific piece. I highly recommend the book, and, and it's also available as a book on tape. Peter had to be locked into a studio for weeks <laughs> to keep reading. <laughs> Ten hours a day for three months. <laughs> hey, Peter, uh, Josh here. I've always wondered, uh, I'm part of Generation X, and uh, so there was a, there must have been a resurgence for Frampton Comes Alive after the movie Reality Bus. Bites when Ben Stiller claims that that album changed his life, and he, he, there's a, a whole scene that kind of revolves around it. Were you aware that he was going to be doing that in the movie before it came out? Or, um, I did know that um, before it came out, I did know that um, they were using "Baby I Love You" way. First off, they were using it as in the car scene. It's my version mm-hmm. comes on the radio. Um, but then somebody else, I forget who it is, it, it sing, actually sings it as well. Um, <clears throat> and um, But the uh, producer of the soundtrack came to me uh, before it came out and, and said, would you be interested in redoing Baby I Love You? It's already in, in one scene, the way your version. Would you like to do another version, uh, reggae? And I said, no. 
Good answer. I said, I've done it. I've done it standing on my head. I've done it, you know, in the bathroom. I've done it. You name it. I've done it everywhere and every different way. I said, <clears throat> I'll I'll leave it as I'm done with baby I love you. <laughs> and so so uh so he said, Well, that's good. I said, What? And no, he said, uh, well, okay then, because I do have this band called Big Mountain that um they wanna they wanna do a reggae version of it. I said, be my guest. Mm -hmm. And lo and behold, that became a number one hit around the world. So I I was sort of <clears throat> I was happy. Yeah, good, good. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, once again, we're speaking with uh, yeah. the uh, recording artist uh, uh, and performance artist, Mr. Peter Frampton, back on tour. Lots of great dates coming up this summer, in, uh, including uh, Cincinnati on the uh, 22nd of June at the PNC Pavilion. Peter, there's a, a great story, uh, and I'm not going to ask you to waste your time telling it, about your guitar and the mm -hmm. famous guitar that appears on the cover. Oh, Frampton comes alive and the recovery of the guitar. Uh, mm -hmm. Are you taking that out on tour still? Yes. Well, <clears throat> people say to me, "Ooh, you got it back after 32 years. Are you sure you're going to take, you're going to leave that at home? I said, um, <clears throat> it survived an air crash. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. I, I think, um, no, it's, it sounds so good. And it, it, it's like putting an old pair of gloves on and uh that fit and um you know and it's um it, i would be remiss if, if i didn't bring it you know i would miss it myself you know but i know that uh the fans out there love to see it when i bring it out because uh it's got such a great story and you know it still looks pretty much the same on the that it did on the album cover me on the other hand you know, I'm a little different. <laughs> ah, you look better than ever, don't you? You look great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank are, you, you taking, are you taking Bigsby on the road with you? Oh, Bigsby. Yeah. Um, uh, no, I, I'm not taking him on the road. He's almost, or hold on a sec. He's don't go anywhere. now, isn't he? He's still talking. I'm yeah. Still okay. Talking. This must be we Bigsby. Got, we got puppies this must at be the same dog. time. Yeah. Yeah, so we've always well, been I, been I hope it's not a child. About. Yeah, no. I, <laughs> Oh, oh, look there. at that. Oh, look at that. Yeah, he has his own hat. Bigsby. That's great. <laughs> yes, the true vibrato. Yes. yes. That's uh, who the So anyway, um, I don't know what I'm wearing here. I'm, I've got so many hats. So, <laughs> You're like um, a race like car driver. It's the end of a NASCAR yeah. race. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, anyway, no, Bigsby's going to come. Um, he's still training. I go see him, you know. Uh, every every couple of weeks, ten days, a uh, couple of weeks up at the farm where he's training. But he's going to be my service dog, and um, he's um, yeah, I can't wait. He's going to move in uh, probably when I get back off this tour. Okay. That's when we get together. All right, uh, Peter Frampton once again on the road again with the band. Uh, are you going to do? I hope some of the instrumentals. Uh, the oh, I'm sure we will. Yes, yes. <clears throat> we have a mammoth list to go through, and. Um, so yes, definitely. Uh, and and then is is your singing voice as great as ever? I don't know. I've just tried. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm only asking because it's of the a constant. Late to get yes, this kind of feedback. The, the constant throat clearing. I'm only asking for a friend. Uh, okay. Uh, All right. Yeah, I'll try. And, I'll try. And, uh, yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> okay, uh, and uh, you're uh, you go into some detail in your in your book about the medical treatment that you've been receiving. Obviously, it's, it must be working pretty well. Well, there, thereby lies the tale. I mean, no, it's not. There's there is no cure. Um, the only thing that you can do for for IBM at this particular moment, we are. Um, I have my my uh, fund at. Uh, Johns Hopkins is uh, we raised <clears throat> lots of money. Thank you, everybody, uh, for trials, drug trials, and so we're looking at one coming up. Um, and I always uh, try those. Obviously, so far there's nothing there. But the the best thing that I can do, and anyone with IBM, <clears throat> is uh, and this is the same for Parkinson's, is to exercise every day. Uh, if you can. And so I work out six days a week. I take Sunday off and um, and it really it really helps. It's going to keep me upright. All right. Good. Yes. Uh, any uh, last what last question, uh, Peter, any weird covers you're thinking of doing? 
of uh, songs that aren't yours? No, um, no, <laughs> um, I, I can't really. Th I could do. I, why don't I do one of Weird Al's <laughs> weird covers, but do it my way? Yes, yeah, take it back. Yes, or you could do the, a cover of that Big Mountain hit from the nineties. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I love the part where it goes, key change. <laughs> okay, I lied. I've got one more question. When okay. are, are you guys still doing sound checks uh, live, oh, yeah. or is it all being done with computers? And oh no, no, com no. Well, they can. They have. We 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 tape. Most bands, I think, have a uh, little Pro Tools rig um, uh, monitor or out front and. Um, uh, they 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 tape every night, so we've got every night is 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 uh, available to choose numbers for to release, obviously. But what they do is they use night before, <clears throat> and they'll play it back through the system to to set the system. So we don't have to go there for that anymore. But we do do sound checks probably for the first I don't know four or five shows, and then if everything's going well. We much prefer to not do a sound check and just the first time we play, because our crew's so good, the first time we walk on stage is the first time we play in the, during that day, you know. Yeah. If you do a sound check, do you screw up your own lyrics? Oh, oh I didn't, not just the sound check. <laughs> <laughs> I think he, what is, Tom is, is asking is, yeah. do you have any naughty lyrics for your song? Oh, no. Yeah. It's usually like, I love that one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, and it's a, it's a tradition when I speak with Mr. Frampton, I have to say, we go home on Monday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a He's little a tribute yeah. to your yeah. ex-bandmate. I like Gas. Uh, I've really got gas. Gas. It, it has been a gas, Mr. Frampton. I'm so glad you're well, and I will see you at one of these shows. Yes, I'll be sir. out there. Look yes, for sir. me. I'll be at yep. Huber Heights. Yep. Yep. All right. Thank Thanks, you, Peter. everybody. Thank Bye, you. Peter. You're very welcome. Peter. Thank you.